If you don't mind, we'd like to play something for you. Hello again, internet people, and welcome to this corner of the internet. My name is Java Kid, and in today's goofy Java Kids for Kid, Java JavaScript for Kids video, we will be learning about something very deep. A connection of code rooted in the hearts of all programmers. Coffee? No, not coffee. Beans? Or the beans they ate last night. Wait, where the heck is this voice coming from? <sighs> You're going to be learning about functions. So let's dive right into it. Whoa, 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 hold it right there, Java Kid. Before I go any further, I would like to address a factor that I forgot to in my last video. So, in my last video, we were making uh, uh, conditionals that are called do while. What I forgot to address you guys was that there is actually a different kind of conditional or loop called the while loop. So, the do while and while loop have some differences in which I forgot to address in the last video in which I'm going to do right now. So, the basic differences between the while and the do while loop are that the while loop checks its condition first before its block of code is executed, but the do while loop does its code first and then it checks the, if the condition is true. So those are the basic differences and let's keep on going with this video. So first, we're going to name our file here, functions, and tie this in with our uh, HTML file so that we can have an external JavaScript file. So what we're just gonna write here is the name of our file. And I put a bunch of exclamation marks because functions are cool. And um, just tie it in with your HTML file and you are good to go. So let's get into the code. Oh, that actually rhymes. Good to go, get into the code. Hmm, maybe I should use that for a cringy catchphrase next time or something. Anyways, let's get into the code. What we're gonna do in the beginning is create uh, a very simple Functions. So, functions are actually so compatible, and uh, instead of using a whole batch of code, you can just kind of simplify it and smush it down into this one just tiny function, which you can just operate at all times. Our first function is going to be the calculation of a, a square's area. So, we're going to say square area, and then we're going to say dumb. One, num two, I'll explain what I'm doing. Just hold on for a second. Okay, let's see. This is our function command code. Pretty simple, it's just function. And this is our function name, square area, and these are actually the function parameters. And inside of the function parameters are the arguments. So the arguments are going to be num one and num two, which is what they will be entering when they're using uh, the square area. Um, which you can also mark it as calculator. I mean, seriously, you can just go like calculator. Uh, it's it's going to be the same thing. Uh, do whatever you want. I'm just going to name it square area. So inside of here, we're going to do, basically do all of the code that is necessary to operate the code area, uh, square area. So what we're going to do here is say num1 times num2. And that's basically what a square area, area is. It's not that hard. It's just the length times the width. I should have named that length times width. Oh, man. But anyways, we're going to say answer. I like doing this in my functions. Answer var answer is equal to num1 times num2. So that's, that's basically all you have to do. And then after that, I mean, if you want, you can just go uh, alert uh, answer. And that's basically it. And now we're going to call our function and operate it onto our code. So let, let me see this first. And this is how we call our function. Just the name, square area, and then this. That's it. That's it. But for this specific function, what we have to do is enter these arguments in because we did create two arguments for that function. And some functions will require, require one argument, some functions will require no argument, actually. It just depends on what kind of function you're trying to create. So in this case, we are using two arguments. So let's say two and three, and let's see what it pops up. Save. Boom, there we go. 
a length of 2 and a width of 3 is going to generate a square area of 6. And you could just basically do this on and on and on. You can do some random crazy number, not letters, but some random crazy number you thought of, you know, on the way to school or something. But um, you could just keep on doing it. Just knock yourself out, guys. Go go to the billions. Go to the trillions. Go, go infinity and beyond. You could just do whatever you want in these kinds of codes. You're not limited like the regular calculators you would have uh, at school. Now, we're going to move on to something that the whole the whole internet basically has been trending for a while and it is the love calculator i repeat the love calculator and we are going to make that love calculator just basically out of just raw javascript for you guys and uh it's going to be awesome so let's jump right into it first i have some pre-copied code I'm sorry guys, <laughs> but I do. So this is going to be bar name. I just put some text in here um, just to, you know, uh, just to copy it and uh, so that it doesn't take that much time. And uh, let's get into the function. So the function is going to be named love, what was she name it? Love checker, love checker. So it checks if you, uh, the name that you have that you inputted into this prompt right here is qualified for your love. So uh, it's going to generate a percent number and we're going to use math.random. So that's uh, that's what it's going to do and it's going to generate a random percentage and that will determine if uh, you have a love or not. So let's, let's see. So first we're going to put there, we're going to put our argument as a name and then we're going to put uh, answer or what, uh, hmm. Not answer, we should put a uh, uh, love generator. Love generator, yes, yes. Love generator equals math.random. And then we'll multiply it by 100, because of course percentages are usually out of 100. And we'll go math.round and just cap this off so it's rounded and put that nice semicolon that right there and then we're going to of course alert it how would we see it i'm going to alert love generator there we go and that's perfect now all we have to do is see if i have a love now we're going to say love checker go over here and uh... <laughs> i'm going to enter a name I'm gonna enter your name, guys. <laughs> so just put love checker at the end of your at the end of your code. Obviously, it's not taking in the name, but uh, this thing, uh, uh, the prompt will take in the name. Wait, actually, we don't even need to put the uh, love checker name because uh, we have a prompt prompt up there. So we don't need we need we don't need the argument. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, I thought we were actually going to enter uh, uh, the the. Um, the name inside of here, which was uh, wrong with me, because I'm the one who generated this script. But uh, we don't need that argument, because um, this is going to be just basically just a bunch of math. Uh, I kind of tricked myself over there. So uh, let's get into the code. And here is our love generator right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've been waiting for this for a long time. So I'm going to enter a name. And it's gonna be good, guys. I'm gonna block out the name because you guys can't see that name because, because of course, it's personal privacy. You know, you know, like don't mess it up for me. Okay, let's go. Guan Guanisha. What? What the? What the fuck? The, 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 the worst part about that. I forgot to put the percentage sign. I'm a failure. Let's try this again. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Okay. Nisha. Seven. <laughs> okay. Deep breaths. We're gonna try this again. Ooh. Nisha. that the worst part about that 
guys, was because we forgot to put the percentage sign, so it only said 20. So let's put the percentage sign. But yeah, that was, that was the only worst part about that. So we're gonna try this again, guys. Okay, let's see. Quanisha. Dude, I'm not gonna scream at that, because that was actually a pretty good percentage. If you guys did enjoy this goofy, weird video, please do leave that big, fat, juicy thumbs up, sizzle that with some fries, put some oil all over it, and then bake it in the oven, and be sure to share this video with all of your friends. In addition, if you are really awesome, subscribe to my channel. Other than that, if you do have any questions about any of this video, please do leave that down below, guys. And as always, I will remember to keep... That was bad. Remember to keep coding, guys. <laughs> don't, don't have, like, weird script reading like me, okay? <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!